Hey, so why did you call me? Have you heard about the seven planets they discovered recently? I heard they called it after a Belgian beer. The traffic system owes its name to the telescope that detected the planets. To whom goes the credits for the discovery? Uh, Michael Gillen and his team. <laughs> anyway, I just hope I'll meet some smart, handsome alien. Smart, handsome alien? <laughs> we only know that three out of the seven planets are orbiting inside the habitable zone. But they are closer to, this to their star than Mercury is to our own sun. Therefore, there's a good chance that they will be tightly locked. The part facing the star would then be too hot and the other one too cold. However, assuming they have an Earth-like atmosphere and enough liquid water, they could indeed sustain a form of life. And by form of life, scientists don't mean some advanced civilization. It could be just a tiny cell. Shh, I know my prince is somewhere on the Trappist-1Z. Uh, no, 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 there's no Trappist-1Z. The planets are called Trappist-1B, Trappist-1C, Trappist-1D, and so on to H, respectively depending on the time we found them and their proximity of the Trappist-1A, the ultra cool dwarf star they're orbiting around. The Dupra Supra what? Ultra cool dwarf stars are small stars that do not reach a temperature of 2700 degrees Kelvin. In this case, Trappist 1A is slightly larger than Jupiter, but about 84 times more massive. Its radius is 11% the radius of the Sun, and its mass is 8% of our star's one. It has a temperature of 2550 degrees Kelvin, and is only 500 million years old. Only 500 millions? Yeah, I know, it may seem a lot from a human scale, but the universe is 13 billion years old and is itself considered as recent. So 500 million years are nothing compared to the universe. Plus, it could even live up to 12 trillion years. Same for the distance between our solar system and the Trappist-1 system. What do you mean? The Trappist-1 system is located in the Aquarius constellation and is 39 light years away from our solar system, which is the equivalent of 370,000 trillions of kilometers. Yeah, I know, that sounds crazy, but the Milky Way, our galaxy, expands to 100,000 light years, so we can consider the two systems as neighbors. But how are we gonna reach the system then? The fastest probe made by humans is the NASA's New Horizon probe that reaches a speed of 51,000 km per hour. And yet, it would take 317,000 years to get to the Trappist-1 system. So you're telling me that I won't get to marry Nellian nor even meet him? Even though the concept is still very pathetical, last year the billionaire Yuri Milner started a project in collaboration with Stephen Hawking called the Breakthrough Starshot. It consists of creating micro probes that could go up to 20% of the light speed. 216 million kilometers per hour. It would still take approximately two years to reach the system. It's still too much! Hey, science is evolving day by day and we don't know what may happen in the future.